Hi, I'm back again. I've uh, decided to do another go live. Um, I don't know why I keep calling it go live. I decided to do another live lesson. So we're going to be doing nail art again. I'm very excited actually to show you some stuff that I do with gel paints. It's one of those things that people they tend not to realise just what you can do with them. So I've got three designs which I think you will love. So I have my beautiful assistant with me today and he's the one that's going to be directing the camera and directing any questions that you've got. But these designs, there's three of them, um, they're quite detailed. So what I don't want you to do is miss too much. Um, so let me, I'm going to just spin the camera around to show you exactly what we're doing. And then I'm going to hand that camera over to my darling husband. <laughs> I'll uh, speak to you guys in a second. Hold on. Okay, so we'll be doing these three designs today. We're going to start off with this one and I'm already prepped, but just check out my gel paint so this is my palette this is what i use this is just some of the popular colors i've actually got the price the actual collection is um red blue yellow green and then of course you've got oops sorry Han, you've got white and black so this is all the extra colors are all colors that i have mixed up myself and i've mixed that up using that primary collection so it's quite important to understand that you get the six colors well you get four colors and the black and the white in the collection and this is what you can do with it and we'll be using all these colors when we're doing some art today so this is the gel paint. Also, later on, hang on, because I am going to be giving you an amazing discount off this gel paint. So, are we ready, John? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? The computer's decided to not work. Okay. Don't worry about it. Right. So this is the first design I'm going to be doing. It's all right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. We're still on. Okay, John's having a slight panic attack because there's a technical fault with the computer. I have no idea what's going Apple. on. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to show you um, something for the summer. Now, Anthea, I was chatting to Anthea this morning. I said, I need some ideas for designs. And she goes, summer, palm trees. So I'm going to show you a different way of doing palm trees and how to cut corners. Oh, anyway, it's on now. It's okay. How to cut corners and... Um, how to save time so to do a great nail design on your clients but to keep it within that time frame don't worry about it okay so you need to go on the other computer maybe we ready so what i have here is i've started off with one coat of white and then we're going to go ahead and do a second coat of white gel polish. So I'm using gel polish here rather than, um, uh, well, it's because what, that's what most people use is the gel polish. I'm so sorry. This is, I can't see. Awesome. So I'm going to pop this back underneath the lamp. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you guys can save a little bit of time in the salon. So right now, I'm putting that under for 30 seconds. I have got some Arabella forms that I pre-made these palm trees on. So this is the Arabella forms. In the kit, you actually get 10 different sizes and you get two of each size so the arabella forms are flexible forms let me get one out for you so they're flexible forms and you can use them for acrylic or you can use them for gel so why are they so great not only are they fantastic for um practice but you can pre-make your designs that way if you know that your clients coming in for a palm tree you can sit there and you can apply the palm trees on top of the nail pretty awesome and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do the palm tree design but the first thing you've got to do is make sure that you size up 
the Arabella form to fit the nail shape. Also bear in mind that where you place the palm tree on the Arabella form is where it will sit on the nail. So if you wanted to put the palm tree here on this side, then you are going to have to draw it on this side. So whilst that's underneath the lamp, I am going to do this palm tree for you. So the, um, I'm using black because obviously it's a silhouette of a palm tree. But what I have in here is a little sponge with some cleanser. And this is just going to help me clean my brush and allow me to have crisp lines. OK, so all that is is cleanser. You can use alcohol as well if you want to. So let's just do another palm tree. And we're going to do it on this side. So I'm just going to lay that gel right down. Now, the difference between this gel and, say, gel polish is that this gel is not going to move. OK, so you actually have an awful lot of time. What I always say in my class is that with this gel, it's like you're painting with regular paint but you have all the benefits of gel. So we've got the inhibition layer. I'm gonna show you later a little embossing technique, and I'm gonna show you the flexibility and the quickness of this gel. So you've got loads of different um, advantages of using the gel, but one of the main advantages is that there's no self-leveling. Do you know how difficult it is to actually film and demo? <laughs> without me getting my hand in the way of the camera just FYI if you think I'm being a little cack handed so you can see here we've got our basic palm tree shapes but have you noticed what I'm not doing what I might do with a regular um, uh, gel is keep putting it underneath the lamp every time I'm needing to um, cure each layer I don't want to do that I'm just going to come in I want to save time. I'm going to come in with my brush and I'm just going to feather down these pieces of gel here so that I've got these tiny little feathery bits on the palm tree. Now, one of the questions I'm probably going to get asked is, Sam, why can't I do this with paint? Hey, you can do this with paint right over the top of the nail if your client comes in. No problem at all. But if you're like me, love doing nail art, but don't have the time or do need to pay the bills. This was for me in the salon, something that I would do a lot of. I would pre-make loads of stickers and nail art on top of Arabella forms. So when my clients, the ones I knew wanted something extravagant, I could just whip them out, pop them on the nail, and then they are done without me spending an awful lot of time with them. So that means I was able to squeeze in another client. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with this palm tree. I'm gonna pop that underneath the light. Christine's asked if you can do it with your nail art paint. Not with the gel paint. So you don't want to be doing this with gel paint. Your nail art pen is literally just for paint. Now, if you wanted to use the nail art pen for, um, if you wanted to use the nail art pen and paint over the top of the design, you can definitely do that. Now, I've put that gel underneath a UV light. Now, there is a difference between UV and LED, and UV um, is a lot better. If you're going to cure, it's a lot better to cure the paint underneath a um, UV light, especially the black. If you're going to do it with LED, what you need to do is you need to uh, triple cure it and make sure that your LED lamp is really quite a strong one. So it's not one of those mini ones and not. Sorry, guys, I'm a popular girl. I got a little phone call then. Um, so you really want to use um, a, a UV light, especially with the black, because it will just cure so much better. Right, here's what I'm doing now. I'm creating an ombre with the pigments. Could you just shoot up and show them these pigments? I am using um, the Pretty in Pink, which is from the, party uh, from the Pretty Collection. I'm using Sunshine from the Brights, Ice Pop from the Brights, Natural Infinity from the new Serenity Collection. I've just put that one on. And then I've got Time 
to reflect. Oh, I am in love with this one. This is um, also from the Serenity Collection. And then I have the black from the Pure Pigments. Now this black goes a long way. Can you see that I took some off on the paper first? And it's the last thing that I dip into because it just wants to anchor the base of that now. This black is wonderful over any of um, the pigments and it just, just brings that colour right down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to burnish and brush in the pigments and I'm really going to brush it in, just be mindful of that black. And then I'm just going to come back over with that yellow because I want it a bit brighter and really rub it in. Should have changed my brush. Never mind. We've got an earthy sunset this time. Kirsty Hi, Kirsty. How are you doing? I'll be seeing you very soon in Cornwall, I think. Okay. Right. So we're ready now. Let me get rid of this uh, stuff on my hands. And I'm just going to remove this paper because I don't want it to contaminate the nail. Okay, so now we're ready to um, pop the uh, sticker that we have on. So what I'm going to do is apply top coat. Now I'm just going to apply a layer of top coat over the top of the pigment. I'm going to be doing two coats of top coat and I'm going to be a very lightly touching this layer because what I don't want to do is be dragging that pigment into um, the bristles of the brush. So very lightly touch that layer. Now, obviously, your client will be sat in front of you and they can hold their own fingers up, but I'll just set that down and then I'll draw, grab the, pick the um, palm tree that I've just done and I'm going to literally just bend the Arabella form back. So if I just ease that off. So this is the palm tree that I've just done. And I've literally just had it underneath the UV light for a couple of minutes. Okay, oopsie daisy, I'm just hitting it on the head then. And then I'm going to place that on the nail. Oh, and I've got some pigment on my tweezers because I was playing earlier on. Okay, no problemo, we can get rid of that. So I'm gonna place that down. What I am going to do is clean up that pigment. That was not part of the plan. So you can see everything goes wrong. Marvellous. I've used the silver pigment for one of the designs and it's now spreading because it goes everywhere. So I'm just using the cleanser. I'm just dipping in this brush into... Um, and actually... A happy mistake, that silver pigment is actually going to end up being the highlight or the sun hitting the edges of the leaves. So these happy mistakes are wonderful. I'm just going to push this back in place. So now what's going to happen, I'm going to put this underneath the lamp. I'm going to put this underneath the uh, LED light. Now the top coat is going to shrink around that uh, sticker. Now the sticker's made of gel paint as well. Gel, a gel, a gel paint so it's going to sit nicely and then we're going to overlay this again with top coat so questions anybody has anybody got any questions about that particular design or what have i missed honey Ruth has asked if you're going to burn me in these shirts i'm not no do you know what i'm going to do this weekend i'm going to sit in the garden and uh if i can't sit in the garden i'm actually going to be gardening so no sorry i can't um come to the uh, uh, beauty show this weekend. Any more questions? What have we got here? Um, gel paints can be bought here, Sam. Yes, oh, Anthea's wonderful. She's got all the links sorted out, which is fantastic. So let me talk about what you get with the gel paints while that's curing. So here's the, um, the gel paint link. I'm just gonna pop that there. Now, what I have got going on for you is an amazing offer for the gel paints. I had a little chat with, yeah. um, turn it around. Yeah. I had a little chat with Rebecca this morning and we are giving you 40% off 
a kit of gel paints. Now I'm telling you guys, you've got to try these because you will find them really, really useful and they will change the way you do art. But uh, you need a code if you want to buy the kits and get that 40% off. Now this code is only available for 24 hours. So here is the code. Can you guys see that? It's Sam is live. Okay, that's the code. Sam is live. So if you type in Sam is live at checkout, you will instantly get 40% off the gel paints. Okay, right. I think we're done with this one. So what I'm going to... Rachel wants to know if you ship to the US. Kate Ryan wants to know if you put easy flow up poorly. Um... Right, okay, so uh, we do ship to the US. Um, I think this offer is only for the UK because we have resellers in the US already. If we don't have a distributor or a reseller, uh, then we can sell it into that country. So I've just top coated that a second time and pop that underneath the lamp. And these are the uh, ones that we uh, have finished. Um, so what was the other question? Do I prefer Orly to Easy Flow? Well, I actually um, like all gel polishes. I'm going to be very diplomatic here. I obviously um, use Orly a lot more than uh, the other ones. And that's what I'm used to. So I do like it. It's a pure gel, uh, just like the Easy Flow gel. Um, I have a lot more range in colours with Orly. So I do like Orly and I actually like the bottles and I like holding the bottles a little bit more. Um, that's not to say that the Easy Flow gels, um, I do have those gels and I do use them. So they are also very good. Okay, should we go on to the next? Have I got any other um, gel paints can be bought here? Um, I'll Don't forget, I will give you that discount code back. I will give you that discount uh, again. Uh, miss the first few minutes. Could you recap from the beginning? White gel polish, tap in the pigments. Then we are doing the um, yep. the um, palm trees on the Arabella forms. You can do the palm trees directly onto the nail, but we're going to do the palm trees on the Arabella forms this time. And that is to show you how you save time in the salon. So you can actually have a whole set of these on all the different sizes and then you just peel them off and you can do a, a, um, all 10 now. So it's a pretty awesome, really. And then you create this by applying the palm trees with top coat. Kate's asked, does all your gel polish do to acrylic enhancements? Yes, absolutely. I've got it on uh, mine um, and I just uh, buff it. I don't do anything else with it. I just literally put it on top of the uh, enhancement. In fact, I'm going to show you right now um, the um, the next design that we're going to do. I'm just going to clear up these pigments before I chuck them everywhere. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this is going to be your next design. I'm going to show you how awesome um, this can be. And I've done the base is actually on acrylic. The whole South Bell and College are watching you. <laughs> Hello, when am I coming to see you guys next? And did you like the, um, the article in uh, Scratch magazine? You guys were featured in there. They did such a great job on their fantasy class. Okay, so let's do this one. Now, this is actually quite a nice design. What I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using teals and greens with this one. So I have got these colours which I've mixed up myself, but I've got a clear background and I've just extended the free edge. So what I want to show you is something a little bit different. I want to create a transparent background that is a similar colour to the colours I'm using. So I've used Gumdrop from Orly and I'm going to mix that into Top Coat. If you guys are worried about putting Top Coat on the nail before anything else then by all means use base coat as well but this is not really going to worry too much with this particular application so now what you want to do is you want to grab some of your color mix it in to your top coat and you will create a transparent color okay and then when you apply it over the free edge you're just going to get a hue so you're just going to get a tint 
of what you need. So I wanted to show you this particular look because it's great for weddings. So you know when you get your uh, bride in, she wants that something different. But of course, you can't be going and putting palm trees on her. Not if she's, well, she, you might, she might want palm trees on her. Um, but say, for instance, she's got brides that are wearing teal. Teal is all very big this summer. Um, if she's got brides in teal, you could actually have this as your background. You, I don't know. Can they see this colour on the background? I don't know if you can. No, can you? Oh, hold on a sec. So can you see that there's just a slight tint of this beautiful teal colour on the background? So what I'm going to do is pop that underneath the lamp and then we're going to do um, a pink over the... Um, over the nail bed as well and I'm literally using rose tinted uh rose tinted colors <laughs> Lucy um okay so any questions while we're waiting any questions um, there was uh, one here um uh... really annoying that the easy flow gels do not there was something about the palm tree can it's how long does it stay on the form as well Oh, that's a fantastic question. Whoever asked that, thank, thank you very much, Kate. Um, that's a really, really good question. OK, so what I would say for you to do, if you wanted to do this and you say, say, for instance, you've got a quiet moment and your client's not coming into the next week, you do the palm trees or whatever. You know, if it's Valentine's Day and you do a whole bunch of arts, do those um, on your Arabella forms and then pop them in a Tupperware container. Whatever you do, do not peel them off because what will happen, gel will continue to shrink. So if you peel it off, they will curl up like a little cigar. So what you want to do is you want to leave this as it is and pop it in a Tupperware container. Now, the reason why you put it in a Tupperware container is that the light will get rid of that sticky layer, but there will be no dust that will get to it. What you don't want to do is you don't want to leave these out because they'll get all dusty and all the, well, of course they'll get dusty. You're an nail technician. Um, all the fluff and dust will stick to it. If you were to wipe it, you're going to actually have them pull away as well. If you were to leave it in a Tupperware container, Container, say for maybe 24 hours 48 hours out in the sun then you could quite happily peel them off and they won't shrink anymore they'll stay in shape so that is that is a fantastic question and I feel bad now that I didn't answer it before um, okay so we're going to come in with some base coat I don't want to add any more color I've got that beautiful tint if you were here you'd see that really nice tealy tint I'm putting base coat just on the free edge. I'm actually not putting too much. It's not very thick. I'm literally just putting base coat on the free edge. And then we're going to use my needle pen to do some dragging. We're actually going to use a spatula to do it first. Now I'm actually putting this into the wet base coat because I want it to move. Now I created this teal colour by adding blue to the green and this is what gave me this beautiful teal and I'm just going to drizzle this over the free edge really lightly. So you don't want to have it too thick but don't worry if it gets too thick because we will be moving this around. Now we're not marbling, this is a different technique, we want something light and lacy. So it's quite important. We don't want to be marbling. We want that stripe. So let's go in with another colour. And we're just going to come in with that nice aqua colour. So the aqua colour, I literally got the teal and I added white to it. So I put white down and then I just added a little bit of that teal colour. I'm going to come in now with a little bit of white just to lift this up how pretty does this look and I want to see that clear background this is a real different take on a French so I think this is really nice one thing that you can do and I have a step by step for this is that you can put this on your Arabella forms first cure it and then peel it off and cut it and put it on the free edge as well but doing this with the gel 
paint means that you actually have more control because you can see it's not self-leveling. All it's doing is it's moving with that wet base coat that I've put on. I want it to move and that's why I didn't cure that base coat. I'm just going to take some of this free edge off. So it's just moving around with the base coat because the base coat is doing its job. It's it's leveling. It's it's um it's creating that movement. But if it was just put on a dry surface, then this gel paint won't move and it won't be as easy for me to manipulate. So I'm going to pop that now underneath the lamp. Now I could actually put this under my Orly LED light and triple cure or I can stick it underneath the UV lamp and uh, we can cure it there. So whilst that's curing, have we got any more questions? Can you do one stroke with the gels? That's yeah. Sharon, if you go on to um, the website, sandbiddle.co.uk, I'm just going to put that uh, little link here. Thanks, Alicia, for this wonderful idea. If you go on to this website, um, there is my classroom. If you go back um, through, you will see that there is a one-stroke flower that we've done with the gel paints. So um, you'll be able to learn that there. We do a lot of every month. Uh, at the beginning of the month at some point um, we have a free lesson in my classroom so you can sign up and find and we do something wonderful with with one of the products with one of the be creative products so let me just pop your discount code remember it's 40 percent off if you go to this page on the website you can buy the kit it's not on the individual ones it's only on the kit and you will be able to get 40% off the whole gel paint kit I can't tell you what a difference it is using gel paints over and above gel polish there is a big difference gel polish is designed to self level it's designed to be used very very thin whereas with the gel paints you're working with it the same way as you would with a paint but you get all the benefits that you would with um, gel and I'm going to show you with my next design exactly why the uh, one of the benefits that you get so I think we're nearly done I'm going to pop top coat on that design I'm actually loving that aqua design at the moment okay let's find some top coat I'm loving this. This is so nice. What a lovely colour. Do you guys like it? With the top coat, you can see that we've got that transparent effect underneath. And of course, it blends beautifully with the lines that we've put on there. So it looks like, what's that glass that you can buy? Stained glass. No, no, no. It's like that. It's like a blown glass that's... Um, Oh, does anyone know the name of that glass that you buy and it's really beautiful? You can buy bowls and stuff and it's all sort of swirled glass. Beautiful. Looks like that. Um, Heidi, um, are the gel paints good for doing 3D designs? No. However, you could, you could apply a little bit of um, acrylic into the... Um, the, the gel glass. paint Murano glass that's the one um yeah you could apply a little bit of acrylic into the um paint and do that and make 3d um designs but uh i have to say there is a company uh, aztec is it no hold on what is it i've got it here they have gel art powder which is awesome so you could use that i don't know who does this in the uk but this is from canada uh, you could do that uh, add that into the gel and create um 3d uh, designs look at that how handy was that okay what do you guys think they love it they love it good i love it this is my favorite right should we go on to the final design so this is what we're going to do now we're going to create a butterfly wing and we're going to do, I've done the butterfly wing so many times, but I want to show you an embossing technique. This is one of the looks that is in the classroom. I think it was for January, but I want to show you that you could do it um, with pretty much any design. I think we did swirls, but you could do this 
beautiful butterfly. And the reason why I want to show you is because I want to show you how that you can paint with the gel paint. Bonnie's asked if you can do it as on well. your natural nail. Oh my God, yes, you can do it on your natural nail. I'm. Do you know what? I do this on tips because I've got so much more um, space to see. Um, so it's very difficult. If I was to do this on a really small nail, for you guys to actually see, I've actually got more workings uh, room for you to see. So that's why I um, do it on tips. It's just a lot easier for me to demonstrate with. So I'm going to put these there and I'm just going to lay out my pigments. I'm going to use the gold, um, the flip flop, and I'm going to uh, use a lilac lounge lizard as well from the Chameleon collection. And pretty, no, I'm going to use Dreaming in Pink from the new Serenity collection. Oh my God, I love that colour. Um, then we're going to use a white gel paint as well. Now I'm using white because I can see um, the design, but also I'm using white because um, it will show up the colours a lot more as well. Isn't this colour divine? It's aubergine. It's aubergine. <laughs> See, now that's from a man that does not appreciate colour. That colour is close your eyes. <laughs> that's not even relevant. <laughs> it is. That's what you think of when you close your eyes, no? Yeah. Okay. So, um, what else have we got going on? Um, what other... Uh, have we got any more questions going no. on? No more questions. Oh, Alicia Royale. Royal, sorry, I do apologise. Uh, do you have difficulty re creating the designs on natural nails I do as I have less space for fine detail. Okay, so um, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, what you can do is do them on the Arabella forms. If you do them on the Arabella forms, you'll um, sort of be able to size them up a lot better. Um, you have to, what I find a lot of people do is they'll look at a design and they'll go, right, okay, I need to put this on the nail and they try and put all of it on the nail. Don't put all of it on the nail. Just put a proportion on the nail. Okay, let me just tell you what I'm doing here. I'm actually wiping off the inhibition layer with cleanser. Okay, so you will going to get some um, tint transference. Don't worry about that. You can still see that the color sits beautifully. If you are using a product that isn't quite highly as highly pigmented as this, then maybe three coats is what you'll need. Alana Deegan has asked um, if you know the tool we use to help with the marbling that is available to buy on your website. Yes, it's called the needle pen and it is available on the website. Um, I hope <laughs> now. I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure we have it in stock. Uh, let me just uh, uh, tell you guys something. One thing that um, I do is education. That's really my main job is education and marketing. So this is all down to education. I don't actually ship or know about stock with the products. I have a business partner, a wonderful friend, um, Rebecca, who... Um, works at our head office in Kidderminster. I am in Dorset um, and I actually don't get to go up there very much because I do so much traveling. I'd rather spend my free time or my work time at home. So I'm working from my little office in the garage. So I don't tend to go up to Kidderminster that often and I have no clue what stock they have. So the best thing you need to do is ask them at orders with an s um, at soundbiddle.co.uk so that is their uh, email address or the number is on the website as well yeah. just so you know the distance between you and rebecca is about 130 miles yes thank god for technology we speak to each other every day in fact i wake up to her text messages or she wakes up to mine depends on who's going where um, and we do speak to each other every single day so look at what I'm doing. I'm painting with my brush with the gel paint. Now, if I was doing this with gel polish, I would be zipping this and flash curing this underneath the lamp. But you guys have not seen me do that yet, have you? I'm literally just painting with this the same way as I would if I was doing this with a regular paint. Okay. Play, uh... Oh, I can't pronounce your name. I'm really sorry. It's spelled C-L-A-C-L-A. -L -A -L -A. 
Um, she's asked, um, can she use other pigments and nail polishes, polish colours for this design and which one would you recommend? Other pigments? It, can you use other pigments? Yeah. And nail polishes. Uh, gel polishes, yes, you can use, not nail polish, you would, you would need to use a gel polish. Um, but I can't recommend another pigment, no, really. I I can't do that because our pigments are obviously the best pigments on the market. <laughs> um, as for gel polish, um, I would go with Easy Flow um, as my um, second choice. Uh, I would also go with IBD, um, also a, a, a really great brand. Um, what other... I don't know. I would that for me is the colours that I have in, uh, here. That's the brands that I tend to use the most of. If if you haven't got Orly, is that um, over and above your products? If you were not going to use your product, is that what you're saying? Uh, with the gel pot, with the gel polish, I don't have a gel polish range anyway. But as for the pigments, um. There is no other pigments that I would use because our pigments are so rich and so pure. They're so easy to use. Ask any of my members on the online the difference, um, how they find them. So I'm just doing here this little... Candice wants to know, Candice Lee wants to know where do you buy the gel polish you're using from, please? Uh, Orly, you can buy, if you're in the UK, you can buy them from Grafton's International um and i i do believe it's it's just orly if it's in the us it's orly um ooh orly i'm not sure what the email address uh, what the website address is actually orly uk would be available. yeah orly well i would just i would just google orly uk and see but grafton's international if you google them they'll bound to have a link on their website so can you see what i'm doing i'm literally just creating fine veins in my um i'm not even worrying too much um about those fine lines because i'm letting the gel do all the work so i'm going to pop this now underneath the lamp i'm going to put this under the uv one again i do recommend a uv one if you don't have a uv lamp then you really do need to um, triple cure it under led and maybe go a little bit thinner with the gel paint okay um let me put this what I do want to show you is uh, my Snapchat. Um, I actually do probably do more on Snapchat than I do on Facebook. So please follow me if you want to know what I'm doing, especially if I'm traveling. I tend to snap a lot more than I uh, post on Facebook. Um, so here's my Snapchat code. And another thing I wanted to let you guys know is um, my online education program. If you like this video, imagine if I was doing dedicated videos for you, two videos a month, and then you get feedback on your work. So if you were to send me the results of your designs and I give you feedback, I'm actually teaching you online. It's like a one to one. But right now you can actually do a monthly membership. So you can pay £15 a month. You can pay an annual membership. And right now I've just launched a three monthly easy payment plan so you can actually pay it off in three months for just 55 pounds a um month which is pretty awesome so if you visit sambiddle.online not dot this is dot online here it will take you to the website where you can find out more about the membership i know i can see a whole bunch of other members on here so Stella's here hi Stella I've just seen your name um, also Anthea Thomas who is admin on our Facebook forum if you have any questions or they will tell you all about um, the, uh, the uh, uh, what's it called the membership Marcia wants to snapchat code again hi then um, got it Marcia and um, uh... Tracy Bickle, what she's asked, can you stick the falls onto the gel paint once cured? Yes. Okay, Tracy. So this is a good question. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put pigment onto these uh, gel paint. What um, people find when they put foils on is that the foil don't stick, not just on our gel paint, but on any gel, whether it's gel polish or gel paint. And the reason for that is the inhibition layer. 
so if you are putting uh, the pigments onto um, an inhibition layer that's not strong enough you're not going to get the solid stick so i've put this underneath the lamp for two minutes but if i was going to foil this i would only put it underneath the lamp for a minute take it out and foil it because then i know that i've got more of an inhibition layer so let me just do a little bit of a add of these beautiful pigments so i'm just going to add the flip flop here so this is going to be quite a delicate design i'm just going to add some of this flip flop right along the body and then i'm going to come in with the gold on the tip now remember what i did before is i removed that inhibition layer so because i removed the inhibition layer underneath this pigment is not going to stick onto it okay i'm just going to grab some of that black and i'm not going to make the same mistake again i'm just going to take some of this black and i'm just going to add it to the base of my butterfly okay so let's get rid of some of this excess and you can see now how we've got that color coming through as soon as i top coat this all the sparkle and the shimmer is going to really rock this nail and it's so easy and so quick now remember what i showed you before with the arabella forms and we uh, did the palm tree on the arabella forms you can do exactly the same thing and put this on an arabella form and then peel it off and place it onto the um, nail bed make sure that you size it up and then you've actually got the perfect situation for it. And you can do this and practice this in your own time. Okay. Just roll it towards camera. There we go. So I'm going to pop this underneath the lamp and then we'll just wipe it and we're done with this design as well. So I like that purple one on the background. Okay, so that pretty much sums us up for our lessons. What did you guys think? Yes? Um, have we got any more questions before we finish? Mm. What? No. no more questions before we finish. Um, let me just um, have the... Are you going to point it at me? Okay. So, and I can't see myself. Do I look good? You look amazing. <laughs> Um, okay, so thank you so much for joining. I hope that um, I covered everything. I can't even remember what I was meant to cover because these things, they just sort of run away with you. But what we have covered is the gel paints. Remember the code that you need to buy a set. Sam is online, no, Sam is live, okay? This code will give you 40% off the gel paint kit, but it will only last for 24 hours. This is going to end tomorrow. So it literally is just for the next 24 hours. So use this code if you want to get yourself a kit and save yourself 40%. Okay, and you'll get your kit at this website. Right. Now, I did promise... Yeah, then again <laughs> all right so this is the website that you need to visit to get the code and you want to go and visit it's called gel paint how many sets are in the there's six sets six sets you get blue red green and yellow and then you get black and white but remember that palette i showed you at the beginning you can mix a whole bunch of colors because all those primary colors will just mix all the other colors when you visit the website you will see a video on how to mix certain colors on that website snapchat code is here as well oh. don't forget to follow me on snapchat if you do snapchat uh, because i do a lot more on snapchat than i do anywhere else she it's does <laughs> much to my daughter's disgust because of course um i'm too old to snapchat so <laughs> is there a 
myself, Tracy Pickle says, is, is there an out of date for the gel paints? Because you've had those a while. No, there isn't an out of date. Um, you need to give them a stir. I've had mine for a while as well. Um, and my red, I was looking for my red. And I thought, oh, I'll have to get a new red because I couldn't find it. So I got an old, old red and I've got a tiny bit at the bottom and it works fine. So you want to give them a good stir, but they're fine. As long as they've been kept in a cool, dark place, which I'm sure they have. So, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, okay, so I have one more little thing for you. If you want to become a member of The Inspired Online, you have got uh, three options. You can be a monthly member, you can be an annual member, so that means that you just pay once and it's £150. Monthly member, you pay £15 a month or you can do the three easy payments and um, pay just £55 a month for three months. Now, if you, in the next 24 hours, sign up to be a member, I will send you an exclusive video after the third monthly payment. So you will get a video that no one else is going to get okay an exclusive video so um if you want to sign up in the next 24 hours you're going to get this video it's a watercolor uh, design and it shows an additional technique that no one else has seen so uh you're going to get that which is pretty good um so but that's only if you sign up in the next 24 hours there's no code no nothing you need to do all you have to do is sign up and i will know because i'll just look at the date when uh, of your the start of your membership that's it guys is there any more questions no. are we all good i hope you enjoyed that little um what about um the regularity a uh, bit of feedback Pardon? Uh, the regularity of these live streams. Oh, yes. Actually, you should have a subscribe button. You need to hit the subscribe button that comes up in the comments and then you'll be able to find out um, when we come, uh, when I come on again live. But listen, tell me, what is the best time to do this and how often do you want to see it? Now, I'm not going to be able to do a lesson every single week because obviously my members come first and I'm very busy with uh, creating uh, content for them. Um, also, I've got to do a whole bunch of other filming for other things. So I'm not going to be able to do that once a month. Uh, I'm going to only be able to do a live lesson once a month, but I will be able to show you some other things like... Um, We'll do a Q&A on a specific product. Uh, we'll actually do a specific technique so we can do things that I, I don't need my beautiful assistant for. Mm. Um, so I'd love to know how often you want to see something like this and what are the best times for you as well. Please let me know in those comments because that would be really awesome. I just want to make a little plan of what um, I can send out to you because I'm loving this. I think it's great. Also, how many of you guys are on Periscope? Um, because maybe I should be doing it on Periscope as well. I'm not really sure. One final thing, and I will put the link down. If you've missed this or if you missed any of the previous Facebook Lives, you want to head over to the website, this website, and on the top bar on the orange, it says FB Live. Um, there's an orange bar right at the top. It says FB Live. You will then see um, the other Facebook Live lessons, Q&As, my tea parties, all the other things that I've done. Okay, I think that's it. Any more questions? We're all good to go. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you really soon on Facebook or even on the Members Forum. Bye-bye. <laughs>